Hi, it's Narelle here. Today I'm going to show you how I use the Slice tool and the Contour tool in Cricut Design Space to alter a pre-designed SVG file. I'm using the Tea Light Garden project from Dreaming Tree SVGs. Leo from Dreaming Tree has generously given this file free to all the members of the Cricut Explore and More Facebook group. If you'd like to join the group, you'll find the link in the comments below. You'll also find the link to the Dreaming Tree Facebook page and the Dreaming Tree website. You'll see I've uploaded the two pieces of the SVG that I need onto my canvas and I've zoomed out to 75% so I can see both images on the screen. I'm going to be using the contour tool to hide the bottom row of flourishes on one of the purple pieces and the same row on one of the green pieces. I'll then replace them with the words Merry Christmas. Starting with the purple piece, I select it and click Contour from the Layers panel. You'll see an error message pop up that says Hide Contour is not available for multi-layer SVG images. This piece might look like it's only one layer, but the score lines are considered a layer, so we need to separate them from the main image. To do that, I click Ungroup from the bottom of the Layers panel. And you can see now that I can select the score layer by itself. Now I click on the main purple image and again click Contour. There's no error this time and the image fades slightly and you'll see a white rectangle appear. I click on each of the flourishes that I want to hide. As I do that, those pieces change colour to a light blue, showing you that they've been hidden, which means that they won't cut. If you have trouble clicking some of the smaller shapes, you can click the zoom button in the bottom left corner of your canvas and zoom back to 100% or maybe even more if you need to. Well, once I've hidden all those pieces, I can click anywhere on that white rectangle from the screen or I can click the contour button again. Next I'll be repeating the same process on the green layer. I select the green layer and click contour. There's no error this time because there's no score lines which means there's only one layer in this image. So again, I click on each of the flourishes I want to hide. Now you can see when I click back on the canvas that I've hidden the outside border of the image. So to fix that, I select Contour again and click near that border to unhide it. Now before I add my text, I'm going to place the green layer on top of the purple layer. And you'll see when I move the green layer over, it's hidden behind the purple layer. So with the green layer selected, I'll click the Arrange menu and then click Move to Front. I'll align the two layers as best as I can using my mouse. And then I'll use the X and Y coordinates from the Edit panel to get them aligned perfectly. Before I do that, I have to make sure that my zoom level is back at 100%, otherwise the images won't be placed in the correct spot. And now I'm ready to insert my text. 
I click the Add Text button and type Merry Christmas. And I'm using a system font called Stencil 1935 that I found at defont.com and I'll place a link to that font in the comments below. Stencil fonts work best when you're slicing because you don't lose the insides of letters like R and A. So I'll resize the text using the bottom right handle and then I'll position it over the green image approximately where I want it to be sliced. Now I want to align it horizontally so I'll select the text, hold down the shift key and click anywhere on the green layer. I then select Arrange, Centre Horizontally. And now I'm ready to slice my text. Don't forget you can only slice two layers at a time. So I need to slice the green and purple layers separately. So the text and my green layer should still be selected and the slice button should be active in the layers menu. I click slice and when it's done you'll see there's two layers of text in the layers panel. I'll click on the top layer of text and delete it and that's that black layer. And you'll see that the original blue text is still there. If I click on the eye next to the text in the layers panel you'll be able to see that the text has been sliced into the green layer and you can see the purple behind it. And now I need to slice my text into the purple layer. I'll click the eye again to show my text and with it still selected I hold down the shift key and click on the purple layer making sure I don't click on the score lines. Once I've done that I click the slice button again. The text will be sliced out of the purple image and then I can go and delete both of those sliced text layers from the layers panel. And you'll see that the green layer has been pushed to the back during the slice process. I can select that from the layers panel and move it to the front. And you'll now see that the text has been sliced in the correct position on both layers. But before I can send this project to the Explore to be cut, I have to attach the score lines to their image. I'll move the green layer to the side and you can see that the score lines of the purple layer aren't showing. And that's because they were also removed to the back during the slicing process. So I'll select the score layer from the Layers panel, click Arrange and then move forward and now the score lines will appear on top of the purple layer. Next I'll select both the score layer and the purple layer and click the attach button. Now everything's ready to cut so you just need to click go. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching and don't forget to go and check out the Dreaming Tree website.